Kentucky. Yes, sir. I have no fear. Big thanks, Kentucky. It's here. Thanks for having me on for this one. We close out the football season. I couldn't miss this one, Coach. I couldn't miss this one. Couldn't miss it. Couldn't yes, miss sir. It. Well, man, hey, first of all, this weekend. Oh, hold on. First off, let's look at these standings. Now, my question is this. How did y'all do this past weekend? Because it was pretty terrible from what I think. Yeah, it was. It was pretty terrible. You know what? Hey, but Coach, I brought home the victory for you. I'm accepting the trophy on behalf of the general, now, baby. You do know that's two years in a row he ain't won nothing. I do know that. I got the trophy home. I'll bring it to you next time. You I'll keep it. Just put my name on it, coach. coach. I got the trophy at home. I hey, hey, it was garage. for you, coach. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna drop the ball, dog. You did. You was kicking his tail too. I was it was ugly. Yeah. Hey, man. He was calling me. Get on with the show, man. He me in the hospital like you didn't help me. <laughs> he didn't be in the room next to you. You been doing wrong. Oh, oh, that's man. all right, baby. That's all right. Well, <laughs> man, look. This this past weekend, we had the 2021 UK Orthopedic State Championship game, the finals, coach. Man, first of all, I want to say the RPI system, a lot of people don't like it, but the games we've had these last two years on this RPI, I, I love it. Yeah, it's not been even real blowouts in all these no. been close games. Yes. Uh, and it's been usually the best two teams. Yeah, and everybody yeah, agreed yeah, it's yeah, been the yeah, best two yeah. teams. Yeah. Very competitive, man. It was a, a great weekend of football. Uh, I was telling the coach, man, y'all y'all had a little gym hitting up under your head. How they treat you over there, dog. Yeah, I, yeah, boy, I'm boy. locked in now. Hey, we need reservations for three <laughs> next year. I'm locked in now, buddy. I'm <laughs> mad that you didn't get the barbecue nacho. <laughs> Make sure you get the <laughs> runs in business, please make sure you open next year. Hey, man, great time. Uh, oh, great treatment from uh, everybody involved, man. And uh, just nice seeing all the media outlets that we've uh, we've dealt with uh, over the past. And it all comes together on stage for that weekend of high school football, man. Everybody in that central location, man. So I had a phenomenal time, man. Well, we'll, we'll, real quick, just recapping things. 1A, we had Pikeville take the championship. Congratulations, Pikeville. I do want to say, man, congratulations to the Russellville coach, Coach Mikey Benton. Be sure to check out our extended interview of him. He was KFCA Coach of the Year for 1A. And look for Russellville to be a power in the years to come. I love what he's doing there. Great young mind taking over in the coaching. Definitely. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to both teams. All right. 2A, that was our heartbreaker. Man, I talked to you on the phone. I didn't get a chance to make it, man. Uh, you, you was like another meltdown in a way. Uh, it, it's tough because LCA is so talented. Man, it makes man. such a run. And, man, I'll be honest. It's hard. it's hard to face a kid with that experience of a kid from Beachwood. I don't care. Another year makes a big difference. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that system, which he's been in for five years. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Probably ran it in middle school. And, and well, it's K through 12. 12. Yeah, so I mean, 12. so... That made a big difference. But LCA fought back, had a chance to win it. Shout out to Beachwood, man. Another great year. Uh, that quarterback special, man. Got yeah. special. Cool. I think also early on you saw that Beachwood was a little faster than I think LCA thought because they couldn't really get their perimeter stuff going like they usually did. I think that kind of – and then they were down 21 then, and it just kind of – they fought back though, man. Coach Charles – I want all smoke Charles, man. He he, uh, you know he sometimes digs himself in holes, and he's able to fight up out of it, man. But just with championship caliber football, it's hard to dig a hole that deep, and then you know expect that you spend so much energy and, and emotions and momentum trying to you know tie it up, yeah, and then you know how much you got left to pull it out. So, man. But nevertheless, great season for LCA once yeah. again. Dog, uh, he's got it. You know, he's got a program that's that's got a culture of, of winning and doing the right thing, man. So I expect a, more big things out of them over there at LCA. And do not be surprised if LCA is not back next year. They got an eighth grader to move it up next year. Nice little running back stud. Kid's going to be nice. The cover's not bare at LCA. And they lose a lot of great seasons. Anthony John, Xavier Brown, and Nevis. So it'll be up better. And uh, uh, you got Tyler Morris, too. He's leaving. Great young man. Had a great year. I watched his young kid battle. A terrible injury his freshman year. Came back bigger, stronger, faster. Coach, I'm telling you, like million dollar man. Bye, he came back. Then <laughs> you, <laughs> you got Marty Moore, son, Mason Moore. Had a great year over there, too. Had a great couple of years. So, 
But like I said, they'd be all right, Coach. That's yeah. all right. And then in 4A, I mean, Boyle keeps doing what Boyle does. They took care of Johnson Central, who had an amazing season, an amazing story. But in the end, it was who you with. Jagger Gillis, another fifth-year player. The fifth-year players showed out. Made a difference. They did absolutely, make a difference. Man, absolutely, absolutely. Definitely, man. Bull so, County brought another title back. Yeah. No title back. Title back. Two in a row is Coach Hayes. Yeah. That's a title yeah. tale, baby. We need three, Coach. Three. Can I get three, Coach? I need three, Coach. I see it happening. I don't think anybody's going to beat them. Yeah, congratulations, Bull County. Now, that was just the first day of game. Day two started off with 3A. We had Paducah Tillman led by another great young coach, Coach Thompson. And look out for Paducah Tillman to be back in the ranks again. And Belfry, doing Belfry things, Isaac Dix, another fifth-year player, balled out. Balled out. Congratulations, Belfry and Coach Haywood, legendary coach, most winningest coach in Kentucky high school football. Hey, what more can you say? The mountain showed up in Lexington and showed out. That's what you see. The holler showed up and showed out. The holler hey. showed up and showed out. That's what they did. Coach. Hey, shout out to, to my man Heath Robinson. He texted me at the end of the Douglas game. He said, Pike County 2-0 in the championships. Fayette County 0-2. Oh, we man. need to call it Big Things Holler. Oh, <laughs> and I couldn't say nothing. I couldn't say hey, nothing. I'll tell you what, Lord willing, we're healthy, we healthy next. We're going to hit a game in the holler. So you're going to see all three of us show up. We coming, we coming to the holler. We coming, baby. So lay it out. I know the town shuts down, but we coming to the holler. So we'll Get your shotgun shells and your moonshine ready, baby. <laughs> we coming. Yes, sir. And then 5A, man, Douglas, you know, I want to give a shout out to Lexington. For everybody that showed up, man, we had a huge showing up for this game. You know, I don't know if everybody was there for the right reasons, but we had a huge showing up for this game, man. And Douglas, hey, one thing I can take from that game is I have to commemorate Dane Key. Yeah, man, he was, uh, Dane Key was the best player on the field in that game. South Warren was the best team. Uh, just in my opinion, that that that, that played. Uh, I'm not sure if the team played five times. South Warren wouldn't beat them four out of five. You know, just the way they're made up. Uh, they all be close games. They would, yeah. They all be close games. I just think their strengths are some of Douglas's weaknesses. You look mm -hmm. at it, rushing yards. Uh, you know, I think yeah. they had 130 South rushing Warren's yards. Defensive line versus Douglas's offense. Yes, line. yes, that was yes, one of the yes. Games. And which early in the season, before we like said, yeah. when we talked, you said that be we thought that'd be Douglas's probably area of concern. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. is off the line. So shout out to Douglas, man. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to you know for coming back. They was down, yeah. fall back, and you know what I'm saying made it a Fine game way. a couple times. So they shout out to Douglas. Yeah. And now, coach, I know you feel like the hate was uncalled for. There's a lot of hate out there, man. I, I, it's a lot of people have a lot of things to say about these high school kids that are competing. You know, and disappointment and all this stuff, man. Like somebody told me, ain't nobody more disappointed than the kids in that locker room. So, man, y'all support these kids. And stop worrying about this and that. And Man, support these. All I'm about is support these kids, man. Right. Absolutely, man. Hey, we don't watch these kids grow up and play. All these kids that played together since they were six, seven years old. We done coached a whole bunch of them. If we ain't coached them, we coached against them. Yeah. And we don't watch these little kids grow into these athletes, man. Just support these kids. No, and I think, and I think, I, 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 I don't think the hate comes for the kids because these kids have done nothing but, nothing but some remarkable things over these years, right. and you've seen them, Coach. You've been singing Dane Key's praises since the first day you seen him in eighth grade. You've been Dane Key this day. Seventh this. grade, Coach. You've been Dane Key. You got Dane Key tattooed on your left chest. <laughs> hey. I mean, but you've been Dane Key to the to, hey. You've always said, Bew, he's special. He's special. He's special. And the kid is not let down. He's been special. You said the kid was special. He was special. So, I mean, Douglas has done something remarkable. And I'll be honest with you, you know, I don't know what they look like coming back next year. I know they got T.J. Uh, Hort coming back, who's a dog. Mm -hmm. He needs to touch the ball a lot more. I'm telling you right now. But he needs to touch the ball a lot more. The young man is a dog at running back. Yeah. I know he plays some secondary corner. Cameron Dunn, Dunn will be back. Cameron Dunn for another year. Cameron Dunn finally going to lead this offense. If they can bring another quarterback in. Nice. You know, it's a lot of stuff to low with Douglas. But I'm telling you right now, it seems like Scott Cannon may be down. 
You know what I'm saying? Nah, hold on. You see that it might be down, coach. I'm just saying. Uh, Cause hey. like, hey, when we talked to Coach McKee, he started a lot of sophomores and freshmen, and that's the first time you done done that. I'll tell you this though, he he, he got them boys in the weight room already. Yeah, you know? yeah he ain't coming for they in there already working. You think anybody more upset about this past season than him? There's not. <laughs> There's not. <laughs> right about that. I, mean, I remember last year's state championship game. We said that he's on the fold talking about. Look, we ready. You know what I'm saying? So he's got he's grinding right now. So you ain't catch him down. The now, Godfather don't slip too much, man. No, nah, no. Nah. My question is, in Great Crossing, I think you had a chance last year to finally take over, and you didn't do it. I was upset by that, I thought. I thought yeah, they had but I chance. think Great Crossing had a really great senior class, yes. and it's kind of like an ebb and flow kind of thing. I think they're going to dip down a little bit, and then they'll build back up. I don't think they're reloading just yet. To the general's um, point, this was the best team that they had. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The best athlete that they had. Yeah. Uh, so if they were going to uh, overcome or beat Scott County, not overcome for the long this haul, but just get a win, yeah. still a win against Scott County, yeah. this was probably the year to do yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, and just couldn't get it done. You had cats like Trey Combs, who's been putting in work over at Kevin Doherty, former Duck, doing his thing at center for the last three years. I mean, you had all type of talent over there. So if this wasn't the year, I, I don't see when it's going to happen. They had. Uh, Caden, oh yeah, Caden yeah, played with him. Caden, uh, yeah, he played with him. He had a good year. Yeah. He'll be back next year. Yeah. You know, so man, the, the, the cupboard ain't bare there, though, Coach. Not so fast, my friend. <laughs> we will see. Hey, I'm just saying, to be the man, you got to beat the man. Ain't that right, Cardinal? <laughs> <laughs> we winning, we riding, baby. Why oh, they don't like you great crossing now, dog. That's what they don't like you <laughs> And then finally, we had the 6 eight game, which I think prime time. Oh, look, that's a question. I know y'all's pick was mailed by a billion, as Derek Cap would say. Right. But not so fast. Yeah. Hey. St. X had another thing, didn't hey. it? Man. St. X, I, across the state, man, I'm telling you, we was up in the press box, I heard some dude like, well, I got to write a new article. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. That's how everybody, man was the favorite. Yeah, that was a general consensus, like you said, in the this media the room. Team. Everybody had mail penciled in, man. And uh, I didn't see why, I mean, they, they dominated the season, man, but I mean that's why you play the game. That's why you play the game. Uh, Shout out to Coach now. Kevin Wallace coming from Bowling Green, an outsider, into St. A's and rebuilding that once proud program. He has restored the roar, and it's amazing. Hey, he like he said, he wanted to do it on the bigger stage. He had done it at Bowling Green, but he wanted to prove to himself that he could do it on that bigger stage, and he did it. And like you said, if they play five times, Mel gets them four out of five. But I guess mean, what? Yeah. St. X got him when he counted. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Right. So, but my man, man, Coach Wolf, they're going to be back. I want to, hey, appreciate all the love that we got from all the teams and coaches. Coach, man, a lot of people ask about you. <laughs> Coach, they love the show. And they couldn't wait to get you back. And here you are. The talking turn, baby. Hey, man, I appreciate all the love for sure, man. And everybody supporting these cats while I was gone. Like I said, still ain't 100%, so I'll probably won't be back for a little bit. But Coach TV, Coach Truck, I hold the damn got basketball coming up. It's going to be interesting. If we got any studs in the state? Huh, Coach, man, you hold. Pump your brakes, Coach. Pump your brakes. We still got one more football thing to thing we got to do. And that's the return of all big things team, Coach. Stay tuned, baby, it's coming. Hey, you don't want to miss this one, y'all. I ain't going to lie, it's going to be tough. A lot of, they lot made of, it hard of teams. Yeah. We didn't do one last year because, you know, the stats wasn't there really because so COVID. many people had COVID. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see Coach Trent get back here and bring it back. And, Coach, just, just to let people know what we up against, we had the KFCA 5A Player of the Year, Dane Key. Congratulations on Shout that. Shout out Dane Key. KFCA 5A Coach of the Year. These are all Big Things County representatives. Coach Dennis Johnson. Hey, man, real quick. I got to say, Dennis Johnson did a remarkable job. I've seen this man work and grind and grind and, grind and build it, and they yeah. gave him time to build it to do what he can do in yeah. this great year this year. Yeah, great man. Year. Shout out to this. And also, we had Gatorade Player of the Year from LC. My Eagles, baby, Mr. Xavier Highlight Brown. Congratulations, Xavier, man. Hey, man, this, we going to have a hard time putting the big thing. This going to be the toughest all big things team ever. And I'm telling you now, a lot of y'all going to be mad. Hey, just get at me. 
Yes, please get at him. Not us. <laughs> at him. Right. Him. Exactly. Him, oh. him, right here. Good to see, man. Uh, you know, Lexington wasn't able to bring home the championship trophy, uh, but we did bring home some individual awards and some hardware. So, uh, great job, uh, these young men representing the city, man. A lot of talent we've got to see coming through the Park Red system yes. and stuff. And it's coming up now. Getting this is why we started and, this, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I'm telling you, man. I, I'm going to put it right now. Thunder to the mayonnaise jar. Play okay. to look out for next year. For Mob Defenders. Which Damon one? Damon Green. Oh, told you. you got a whole bunch Mob of Mob Defenders. Hand. Damon, Damon Green. JT though. Haskins. Damon Green. Set to have a breakout season. Eh? No relation. But <laughs> Damon Green. <laughs> That's your man. That's what I'm riding with. Well, you me. said Xavier Brown last season and showed enough. Yeah. He did his thing. All these Coast Hawk, give him the ball. Right, Give him the ball. So he come over and pass that on the side. I feed him. Then he get up, get some Gatorade, and put him back in there some more. <laughs> well, man, we want to say thank you to all the people that helped us and supported us, all the coaches. We want to say thanks to KHSAA again for giving us this chance and support. Uh, Hyped Up TV, Corey Ramey, Prep Spin. Man, there's so many people. We just want to say thank you to everybody that's watching the shows, the mamas. All the mamas, this man, coaches, everybody. Keep doing what y'all doing, and we appreciate it. Please like, uh, subscribe, share, man. It's all about, you know, just bringing some some highlight to these kids in this area in the high school realm, uh, high school sports, man, and hey, it's entertainment, man. So, you know, we know how it is, man. We love all these kids. We'll see all these kids be successful. So there's no favoritism, nothing like it. Well, me and Coach TB, we pretty yeah. Unbiased. I right. think he was somebody. Here, you man. think he graduated from the class of Douglas in '87 or something? <laughs> you know when those Douglas in there, but hey, it, it's a whole other story. Go, go ahead, and close this out, Coach. As you always, it's be a living donor. I'm Coach Bue, my main man, Coach TB, Coach Truck. Hey, the general return, baby. Yes, sir. Ooh.